Hi, this is Ramu, Associate Professor, Department of CSC, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today class, we are going to see how to access arrays using pointers and as well as how to create array of pointers. See, first we will see how to create, how to access array using pointers. For example, here I am going to take an array with the four elements, sorry, five elements, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and as well as I am going to create one pointer, integer pointer. If you assign pointer of array, so here address is not required because array is by default is going to point to the starting address of the element. Starting address of the element. See, 100 is the starting address. You know, the first element is 100, next is goes to 104 because size of integer is 4 bytes. That is why each time it is going to increment 4, 4 bytes. See, 100, 104, 108, 112, 116, like this. Please remember, if you want to access, if you want to access 40, 40 with the pointer variable, see, 1, 2, so this is 0, right? 1, 2, 3 means PTR, PTR plus 3 means you are going to access third pointer, third value, this is a 40. See, we will see one by one using, using uh, div C, C. For example, here I am going to create a one variable a equal to c. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the elements are there. Right? After this, one star p variable also there. c. After this, what I am going to do p equal to a. Right? And if you print, if you print, if you print, observe carefully. Percentage D comma percentage D comma P means it is going to display the starting address of the array. See what is the error? Undefined printf, right? Yeah. This is the starting address 552. For example, even if you print A. Here yeah, also it is going to display the same value, right, 552. For example, for example, if you want to access the element, C star P means it is going to display the first data item in the array. One it is going to display, yes, right. For example, if you want to access 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, right, that is available at the third item, right. P plus 1 means this one, P plus 2, P plus 3. C P plus 1. Now observe carefully. P plus 1 means second item. Yes. P plus 3 means third item. C observe. So 4 is the output. Yes or no? Means, for example, if you print, if you print, if you print P plus 3. Then C. What is the address going to be? 64, right? 564. It is going to display the 564. Address is 564. 564. If you consider P plus 0 means C. Drastically, it is going to reduce 552. Yes or no? 552. 12 bytes are reduced because 3 items are left. So, we we'll leave the 3 items and we come backward. Just minus 12. 3 values, right? That is why. This is clear. The like that you are going to access the all the data items. See, even I am going to use one for loop. How many items? For i for i equal to 0, i plus plus, sorry. I less than 5 because 5 elements are there. That is why I plus plus and comma I, right? And here what I am going to do plus I and also address also percentage D slash N. Instead of 0, what I am going to do use I, P plus I. First one is the address and second one is the value, right? If you use a star, then see, if you run this code, yes, what is an error? 
slash a o slash n is you should write inside right see this is clear so 36 40 44 48 52 the addresses are going to increase by by one one by one this yes or no now all the data access to the pointers access to the pointer this is the how to access the data using pointer and also instead of that instead of that you can use a p plus plus also p plus plus also see if you use a p plus plus then observe carefully what output you are going to get here so p plus plus means here the two times are p plus plus are there that is the reason two times is there that is the reason right here you don't use this p plus plus you just use p here then you run this code right is this clear two times means it is going to increment two times right p plus plus p plus plus goes to p plus one p p plus three p plus five like that so it is going to increment that is why you get the wrong answer the last time is this clear this is the way you are going to access the array using pointers this is the array ar pointer arithmetic also already we have seen in the last class right and if you want to create an array of pointers now you, you are going to access the data but now we are going to array of pointers array of pointers see in this program if you want to access the this element you should use a p plus plus p plus plus like that only you just use but you didn't store the addresses right but if you want to store the addresses then instead of these you can take that 5 right star p plus 5 then see if you run this code it doesn't work see here you need to assign you need to assign each address observe carefully just use the loop and you need to address c p of p of i p of i equal to p of i equal to c the first address the first address is available at c a of 0 right a of i right a of i ampersand so like that you need to assign like that you need to assign c Yes, we need to use semicolon, right? Observe carefully. Now the addresses are saved. Now, if you want to access the data, if you want to access the data, see, if you use a printf of printf of percentage d, comma, observe carefully, star p of i, star p of i. If you run this code, Oh, small b right. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Right? I just I didn't use space, right? That is why I printed like this. See. Now if you observe this one two three four five what i did now i'm going to create an array of pointers each pointer is going to store the array of one by one element data right this is the difference between the array of pointers and how to access the pointer data here the only difference is here you're going to store the all the addresses all the addresses for example if you want to if you want to retrieve the fifth element if you want to retrieve the fifth element for example this one is not required, right? So if you want to apply the fourth, fourth means C. Directly you can access it's five, right? But point arithmetic means you need to use P plus plus P plus plus like that. You need to traverse some. If you if you store the addresses, then it is easy to access the all the data items. Array of pointers. Right? Is this clear? This is the way you're going to create the array of pointers and how to access the array using the pointers. Okay. Today, what you have seen? Array of pointers and pointers to array. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.